In a show of support from Winnipeg's sick community, more than 100 riders headed to the site of a former residential school today in Brandon, Manitoba. Organizer Bava Dillon is of both Sikh and Cree heritage. They wanted to pay respect to the residential school system, to the kids who never made it home. The ride began with an Indigenous prayer, then a sick one. As people reflected on the discoveries of unmarked graves at the Kamloops and Merivel residential schools. Jaspreet Singh says many new Canadians didn't know this part of Canada's history. It's really shameful. By doing this right, we might not make a big difference, but we are only trying to uh, let the Indigenous people know that we know about the situation now. Last night, a vigil was held at the site on Kawas' First Nation. 751 lights, one for each reported unmarked grave. It's illegal under Saskatchewan Cemeteries Act to remove a headstone, but Chief Delorme says it happened here around 1960 by a Roman Catholic priest. So that is why we are treating this like a crime scene at the moment. The Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Regina knew the graves were unmarked and says the discovery of so many is a call to action. About the legacy of residential schools and uh, the, the abuse that took place there, the the removal from families, the, the deprivation of, of parents, of language, of culture, of spirituality. Back in Manitoba, Elder Raymond Mason followed the motorcycles by car, thinking of his own time in residential schools. And it just hurts me. Because I could have been one of them. We need to stand shoulder to shoulder with the Indigenous people and to let them know that at this hard time, we are with them. And on this highway, beside them on the journey forward. Aaron Broman, CBC News, Winnipeg.